Hey there, this is an update on my chest. Four weeks post-op with um, Dr. Garamani. So today is the 28 days since I went under the knife. And as you can see, I had the double incision method with nipple grafts, where um, he basically makes an incision around the breast tissue, pulls it out, takes out the nipple, takes out the stem, and um, cuts your nipple down to size and pastes it back on in like, I think he said it was about two thirds down the pec line. Um, and then stitches it back up. And so basically last week was obviously three weeks post-op. I could take the binder off for good. So that's been gone for a week and I've been feeling really good. Um, I had to put it back on a couple of nights because I felt like I had a bit of swelling and I wanted the compression to kind of get rid of the swelling overnight, which worked, which is great. Um, and from today, I no longer have to dress my nipples. So up until today, since he took the bandages off, I've been putting some stuff, it's like Xeriform, it's a wet gauze over my nipple with some antibiotic gel and put a patch over the top of that, band-aid over the top of that, keeps it moist. And um, what I noticed was um, that uh, it helped the uh, internal stitches, which are dissolvable, um, they basically dissolved by now. So I think that's what the Xeriform and the, what the gauze and the gel was for. And so from today, I don't have to do that anymore. Although I still have one stitch in this nipple that's still there. So I might do it for a few more days, um, but just with a Band-Aid rather than the gauze. Um, so, uh, I will give you a close-up of my scars in the sun. Okay, so there's the nipple, and around it you can kind of see where it's been stitched, and where some of the stitches have come out. Um, it's got a little bit of a, a skin over the top of it, which is pretty cool. I'm not game enough to touch the middle yet, because it's still a bit raw. And you can see um, where I've reacted to the band-aid, like around there. So until today I've had a band-aid on it for like 24 hours a day. And there's the scars. So they're real flat. Especially on the armpit, they're real thin. Really smooth. Got no puckering at all. They're nice and shiny. Yeah. That's it. And there's one here. This little knob thing here is actually an internal uh, dissolvable stitch that just hasn't dissolved yet and it's actually improved it was a bit inflamed last week but um yeah it's gone down so that's good so we're just waiting for some of those internal stitches to dissolve okay good yeah so basically what I'll do now is I'll just keep applying the scar guard which is um like a silicone gel with cortisone in it and uh, creates a seal over the top of the scar and helps like treat it. It's anti-inflammatory and it actually is really good. And I notice if it comes off, I notice it during the day that it's not on and um, I just reapply it. It's awesome stuff. Um, so basically up to date, where am I at? My range of motion is much better. So I can do all these things. Um, I'm not lying on my side to sleep. I'm still lying on my back because uh, it kind of like squashes my nipples and if I go like any further than there what I can start to feel is some stretching through this area so this is the area where most of the breast tissue is kind of like dug out and um, it's probably the area where the skin's the thinnest so I'm trying not to stretch that too much so the scar doesn't stretch and it, it can kind of heal in a nice straight line and um, also if I put my arms out too far to the side my nipples kind of stretch as well. I don't like that feeling. And already I've noticed that the nipple itself isn't like completely round, which would be weird anyway. But just because of like the stretch of my skin, I think it's gone a little bit um, elongated on this axis down here. So it's kind of pulled apart in these two areas, which is fine. I just don't want to like create any more stretch marks or scar tissue or anything like that. So I'm um, still T-Rex pretty much. Um, although I'm pretty much functional, um, I worked last week, I worked 10 hours, this week I'm working 18 hours, and next week I go up to like 30 hours, 
back in the clinic on Saturday. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I definitely can't put much pressure through, but I can hold about 20 kilos and walk around with it as long as I don't sort of like throw it around. Um, yeah, so I've been taking it pretty easy. Been walking my jogs, but I just attach them via the leads to a belt so I don't even use my arm, which I think probably looks weird to other people on the street, but I don't give a shit. Um, one, I'll probably like notice some people copying me after a while, which will be really funny. Uh, yeah, so I'm feeling really good. Not much swelling. Um, I think I've recovered, I've healed incredibly well. And I think there's a few factors for that. One, I've had a lot of rest. For me especially, I've had a lot of rest. I've been off work for now for um, five weeks. And um, I think the other thing is keeping up to date with all my dressings, the scar guard, um, showering really well, like getting really clean, I think has helped, and a lot of rest. So make sure I sleep for a really long time every night, even if I'm working or anything like that, um, because I think that makes a huge difference. And if I have an opportunity to sleep in, I just sleep in. Um, which um, might sound normal, <laughs> but for me, that's, um, uh, that's a new practice that I've had to adopt um, since the surgery, because I've never had a period of time, this long a period of time of rest. Um, so away from work or without a project, and um, it's really strange. So um, I've had to really kind of give myself a lot of space to take up a lot of time of basically doing nothing. And so that's just not a normal thing for me. I like to have a lot of projects going all at once. I like to push the envelope, I guess, with how much I work every week and things like that. But um, it's been a good, it's been a good practice. Uh, hopefully. When I go back to work and when life gets really busy, I can retain some of those new skills. Um, other things when it comes to exercise, I've been real fatigued. So if I don't rest, I really feel it. And um, if I push it a little bit too much in the activity sector, I really feel it. So today was the first day I went back to the gym. And um, although I've been out walking the dogs and I did a bit of exercise in the park and stuff, I haven't actually stepped foot inside the gym yet. And so I went today and I did about a 40 minute workout, just like cycling and some leg press. And uh, yeah, it felt good to get back. And I haven't been wrecked today because of that. So that's nice. Um, I also did an eight hour teaching day yesterday. And um, lucky I didn't have to drive home, but and that smashed me. But I woke up this morning feeling fine. So. Um, I feel like I recovered really fast from that kind of added activity, so I'm really excited about that. Like, I'm really, really impressed that over time and with rest, your body can just heal so much. So I've really been um, enlightened by uh, this kind of experiment, I guess. Well, enlightened by the fact that, yeah, your body can heal so well. It knows exactly what to do as long as you give it the time and space it needs. Cool, so one cool thing that I can still do, um, oh, sorry, I just had a sec. One cool thing that I can still do is a pec dance, so I will do some pec dancing. They're getting a bit small. <laughs> Alright, peace out.